King Drew. All right, y'all, so welcome back. We're here with the second installment of the podcast. I, again, a first and foremost special, man, Long, uh, Ron Baker to the right. Uh, Jerome from Inside the Hashes. I'm Najee Wilkins. Y'all catch me on all platforms. We are here with 226s, Lucius Murray, Jeremiah Collar, and 2025. We just committed to Toledo, uh, Jeremiah Ticket. So for y'all, I feel like y'all are the most underrated on this team. I feel like, you know, a lot of people go to, obviously, the top three we just talked to, but... For you, I want to get what's your relationship like, you and Jeremiah, just kind of going back and forth, because y'all both are on the defensive line. What's it kind of been like with y'all communication and rushing the passer? Well, um, for me and Jeremiah, well, we, we kind of got a lot of chemistry, because his first year ever playing football, we was playing together. So basically, I've been playing with him ever since he started playing. So when it came up to chemistry, we just always click, and especially because um, I'm on the line, and I also play linebacker, then I play nickel. So we always got to communicate to each other on, like, things we see or things we know that will help each other out on the field. So oh, yeah, um, most definitely um, when we first started, when I first started playing, we would play red ball together. You know, that was my first year playing football ever. You know, we've always been together ever since our uh, freshman year. That's when I first started. I was with him. But, you know, just come to Jonesboro, you know, I seen him. I seen his on so I was like, oh, yeah, I know this guy. You know, I'm going to get around lightly. I'm going to um, know what to do. If I have good questions, I'm going to ask him. So he's always been there for me. And like I said, on the field, got to communicate. He, he my linebacker. Got to communicate all the time. So this one's for Lucius, man. So I got a good chance to see you, man, at the spring game where y'all played Lovejoy. I was thoroughly impressed, man, how you was toting the mode, man, and running the rock, man. So where do you feel like your game uh, has progressed the most this offseason and where you can show people like, hey, man, I can run this ball too and I, I'm a powerful type player? Uh, yeah, um, as you're saying, I, I popped our spring game. Uh, yeah, just uh, carrying the load on the offense because I know, like, 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 start off with me. So like, I got to get us going and bring it over to the defense. They get going too. What's your favorite thing about playing running back? Uh, just scoring off the tackles, breaking tackles, yeah, getting it out of the backfield. It's just fun to me, like, make moves and stuff because I'm like, shit. Gotcha. Is there anybody you like to watch on collegiate level or NFL level? Yeah, um, really, I don't have a favorite. I just like watching football. So, like, I really watch all type of running backs because I feel like I got a special spot at every one of them. So, like, I just watch them all and see, like, where I can, like, be, like, Gotcha. Back to Jeremiah, for uh, for you, man, um, what what has your process kind of been like in your journey in this football world? We know you were a three-star, obviously, defensive end, like you said, but the thing that you pointed out was that versatility. You play a little bit of nickel, so how have you been able to balance all those things and still be productive on the field? Well, um, really just making sure I get working for everything, um, especially um, spots I know where I need to improve at because we got to play a lot of more uh, difficult teams this year or – skill or they just balances us when it comes to skill so really just training getting everything I can um in together uh getting work in with them of course getting chemistry together on and off the field so true like I said really just getting work in private by yourself and not always for the camera you know what I'm saying you gotta get work in off the camera so that's really all I'll be doing for you you can keep the uh the mic what is your favorite move to, to use in a game uh when you're going up against somebody the strip. <laughs> like, uh, really just something uh, Coach A, the linebacker coach, he pointed out to me my uh, before the first game ever. He said, you want to be special. Coaches love when you are able to make the offense lose the ball or you take the ball from them. So I just kind of took that in my head, kind of took that through me with me the whole season. That done got us through a lot. Like it, it helped us a lot in a lot of games, especially like the playoff games or just momentum shifters. Like we needed them and I was able to make sure that we got the ball back to get the ball back to lose so he can, you know what I'm saying, go ha make something happen. So to really just that um making sure I'm always around the ball too. Like I always gotta be around the ball 
to make some plays. So a question for all three of y'all, and I'll throw it to them. What game are y'all most looking forward to this upcoming season? We know y'all got to play Central. We know y'all got to play Douglas County, uh -huh. uh, Stars Mill. But what game are y'all most looking forward to? Uh, shoot, I'm lit. I'm lit. I'm lit. I'm lit. Let me go first. Uh, for me, I say Douglas County because it's one. It's the biggest game of our season, and you know they got all the big stars too. So I know planning that game and doing a good outcome that's gonna get us that looks. And surprising, cause we gonna be the underdogs in that game coming. So I feel like us coming out and showing what we can do is a big game. Um, I'd probably say Douglas County, but another one would be School Around the Corner. You know, big big rivalry game. Everybody know that. And just get that game over with. Try to get us varsity out before the half, and then Douglas County, like Lou said, everybody gonna be out there. It's gonna be a big game. Um, all the cameras, everybody gonna get the exposure. People that y'all don't know about will hopefully get in the game and you know show them what they made of. So hopefully they get to do that. Um, really, it's a few games for me. Um, we got Douglas County, um, Central Carrollton, and then um, of course we got School Around the Corner and we got Monday's Mill. Like we need, we need to win all them games. Like those are like big games us especially going into the playoffs like we need all those games especially uh playing douglas county like i feel like when we play competition and we see that we can play with competition it carries on with us for the rest of the season like last year we played cartersville when we played cartersville we had a rocky first half but we came out second half we came back fighting was able to get the score closer ended up losing by one touchdown but that just showed us how you got to finish the game, like, and come together. Like, if you just come together and play out through the game, like, you're going to come out with either a win or, you know, like, you're just going to do something special. Um, true, yeah, really, I just feel like we got to win all those games. Like, those are big games for us. All right, gee, um, we got juniors and seniors at this table, man. How do you feel like y'all just grown as a young man from being freshmen or just middle schoolers to this point? Uh, I can speak for... Uh, really all of us when I say this, especially Ticket, because he didn't play his first two years, so it's, um, especially like me and Lou, we came straight out of middle school varsity. Like, we we jumped straight in the fire. Um, really, we just had to adapt to it quick. Like, you just, you can't make no, you can't complain about it, really. Like, you just got to get out there and show what you made of. Um, as you see, that got us a long way. That's kind of why we are while we, I feel like we had a head start in our class because we just got into it early. Like, we was just able to get going early because of the, what we had to face our freshman year. Yeah, uh, picking off back on Jeremiah, like he said, when we came out, I mean, we had to jump right into it because we knew we was going to come in and play. So they put us right in the fire. And for me, like, uh, I was more of a quieter person, like my freshman and sophomore year. Cause I was looking up to like the seniors and juniors, so like now me being as a junior, I know like I gotta step up as being more of leadership, showing leadership to the team and to the younger guys. Cause I know I'm taking on a bigger role from when I was watching. So now I gotta like lead the team, and now I gotta adapt to that. Um, I say it was a big jump, you know, me not playing football all my life growing up. I grew up playing basketball, so. Coming down here, you know, I was a very quiet kid. I didn't know nobody. I didn't know no area. I didn't know nothing for real. So I was quiet. Came down here, started uh, started playing my freshman year, and I was red ball. I didn't play no high school ball. So making the jump from red ball to where I was okay, you know, not knowing much to high school is a big jump because you know you're playing bigger people, more competition, competition, and you gotta learn know a lot more. So I feel like it was just a big jump, and of course I got. You know, used to everything, um, but that's pretty much it. Just you know, um, getting used to everything. Really, getting used to football in general. And I still, still learn a lot more. But um, I feel like I came a long way. He a dog. He a dog. Like for him to just only play really two years, complete years. Like I just seen like so much progression. I'm like, only if y'all seen like where he like originally, like how he originally played. Like he just came a long way. Yeah, do y'all do any board drills? I'm saying you and you and Tigger ever went against each other in board drills or nah? 
had we went against each yeah. other? We almost did. Almost you know, did. We almost did last year, but we almost did last year, but we switched it up. Um, and we did something like basically offense versus defense. So my sophomore year, that's when I switched to defense, so I couldn't go against him. But I would win against him. Everybody know I ain't ducking no smoke on the team. So I would just, yeah, I would win. Against, I win versus him. Yeah, but board drills, you know, we, we do board drills, first day pads, but I've never been up against J15. But I feel like that would be a good fight, a great fight, <laughs> good competition right there. Defensive guys, strong guys, but yeah. You keep the mic, G. I'm not going to say something. Oh, yeah, well, with board drill for me, you know, I'm calling out any competition too. I'm not scared of them. No, my height, I don't mean, that don't mean nothing. So like, anybody call me out, I'm going up against them. But you know me, I like to choose the guys that's like on my level too. So we could iron, iron sharp iron, go against each other, make the best of the best. And then for, for the two defensive players, man, um, do you see, I see Lou every day in practice, right? You right. know what I'm saying? Obviously, what's y'all opinion of his running, your running style? And how would y'all, if y'all had to, try to defend him and keep him contained if he was on the, on the opposing team? So. Really, um, Lou is like, like you said, like he not that tall. So it's just like you really got to, ain't no looking at the running back. If it's a running play, you going to have to like pay attention to him because like he quit, he make quick cuts, like, and ain't no arm tackling because if you arm tackle, he going to get out of that. Like he's strong. So he just give us a lot of things that we we would need in the game um that we would see in the game of course we play different size running backs but him being shorter and quicker that's something that will help us a lot especially like playing bigger running backs if you are able to beat the running back to a spot you know what i'm saying you are most most likely going to win like if you beat him through the gap you're going to win it's guaranteed so to um really like just he just like, shoot, this is the best running back I could ask for to really see at practice. You know what I'm saying? So, shoot, I ain't complaining. You know what I'm um, yeah, like he was saying, Lou's a great running back, a very phenomenal athlete. Um, he's quick, very quick, shifty, and that I feel like that helps me a lot. Saying I'm coming off the line, I have to actually find like look for him because he'll get out of that hole really fast. So I gotta make the play quick. Um, he helps me a lot because. We going to face running backs like him, but ain't no one like him. You know, he, he one of a kind. He very good, but he's going to help me out beating him, trying to beat him to get – because, you know, we're going to have slower running backs than him, bigger running backs than him. Like J-15 said, he's a smaller guy, so it's going to be hard to tackle. He's strong too, so you got to learn how to wrap up and um, beat him to the spot. But that's pretty much it. Just talk about your goals that you have for this season, whether it be uh, yards, touchdowns, and a team that you want, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, it's always to go undefeated. I always want, I don't like losing. You know, that comes with the game. But uh, yeah, my goals always been like a thousand plus. Learn rushing both. Because, you know, I, I'm versatile. I could go out the backfield, slide position sometimes, catching the ball, running the ball. Yeah, touchdowns, always playing the goal more with those. And also get more exposure with the coaches and gain more offers. Is there a player you kind of study, like film-wise, that you want uh, to Really just all the bats that's like play like me. So I'm like, I'm just watching all. I don't got like Pacific running back I watch. Because like I, watch, I like watching them all. Because I could like possibly learn off of them too. So I just watch many. That last question for you, Jay. Um, I came and saw you last year, but I don't right. know if you had a one on the table. Maybe you had one or two. I think you had a couple on the table. Yeah, I, I just had one at the time. Right. right at the time. You know what I'm saying? For you to kind of, you know what I'm saying, see my blow up, man, what does it mean to you to come from where you came from, bro? Uh, really, um, it's just, it was, uh, it was relieving, but it also made me want to work harder, especially because we got, like, like you, as you know, we got Jamar, Jante, did, like, those are basically that's basically the guys like the face of the school when they come up to football. So it's just like seeing them us playing ball together. Like that was our, basically our dream. We want to be the face of our school or the face of the athletic world. Like we just want to take over. So seeing them boys take over and then me also also you know what I'm saying doing my little thing. I just kept pushing. Like I just keep push. I keep going. Uh, I know eventually everything gonna turn up for me just like how it did for the boys. Of course everybody got their own journey. But um, them boys push me like every single one of them. Like, shoot, I shoot. They, I just, 
I wouldn't say I look up to them boys, but the things they do, I just be like, I gotta get like, I just gotta, I gotta get there. Um, do you guys do anything uh, like to, to meditate, get in that mode, so when you're on time? Uh, as in like pregame? Yeah, pregame. Pregame. Yeah, like music, really. Yeah, just like zone, like game days. Like once we hit the cafeteria after school for lunch, for uh, yeah, I just zone out. Like it's just me, music, cause like I'm just planning on what I'm finna do in the game. Like my mind, I think that's what helps me on the field too. As before the game, I'm thinking like what I'm finna do. I'm locking in, toning out all the distractions and stuff, and locking in ready for the game. Uh, shoot, really like Lou said. Um, I'm listening to music. Seeing what I'm gonna do in the game, uh, making, just thinking of what possibly I could do, um, or basically like seeing my matchup. Um, also, I'm like I'm type I'm type of guy like in the locker room I'm lit though. Like I'm listening to the music on the bus all day in school. I'm locked in, not really interacting with people like that. But when we in the locker room, it's just another switch. Like I'm now all right, let's go. Like it's time to ride. Like. If you're scared, you should have you should have stayed at the school because we here now. Like, let's go. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, really, it's just like um, I'm the guy that's gonna really turn the team up. Um, like, I feel like energy is just like a big thing for us. Like, as long as we got energy, nobody nobody in the state of Georgia in the country can see us because we just got so much talent. What's up, guys? Um, Big and Eric talked about you guys. You know, being in practice and everything like that. Y'all go against each other all the time, and y'all gave each other a good praise. But I want to know. Who gets the better of who? Yeah, yeah who gets me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Me, right? I'm going to say me because Lou, I take the ball from Lou. Uh, <laughs> I, I, like, like I said, he's strong and he's shifty. So, like, I know I can't just go up to him or attack him. Like, I'm going to have to, like, I'm not going to take him down because that's not really what we do. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it to him. Like, I'm going to hit him. He know I'm going to hit him, too. Like, he know. Um, I can say the same thing for Ticket. But it's just like I get more done. Like I said, I play – I'm a little bit everywhere, so <laughs> Duke throw the ball, our quarterback, Duke, he throw the ball. I'm trying to pick him off. I'm talking trash to him. I'm talking trash to Jante when he on offense. Like, I'm just everywhere, like, you know what I'm saying? So I would say, really, at practice, I'm just having more success. I also mess up, too, but, like, I'm still talking trash. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to fix it, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it would be me. You know, I – I'm not gonna say nothing about our O line, but I get back, I get back there most trips. I stop Lou. I stop. You know what I'm saying? I, I I clog up the hole. And then if I were to be used on offense, like tight end, J15 not stop me. Get, get, let me get the pill. I'm I'm running through him. That my dog, but it's still you know what I'm saying. Not running for no smoke. So I feel like it would be me most definitely. Uh, I would say me, but I win because you know I'm running back. So you know. You ain't gonna get it every play. Like every play to down, like you ain't gonna go break every play. It's gonna be some plays you take hits, but I feel like that's what made me better too on defense. Like my our v, our defense, they're very intense guys. So like they're every amp. So uh, they come in the backfield, they getting back there. Or if I'm breaking, you know they ain't giving up. They still trying. So it, like it helped me too as an end game situations, as to keep going when the play like don't stop. So like, but I would if I say me, I say me because when I make a play, I make a play. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, I'm gonna keep it on you because yes, you gotta block these guys. How? What yeah. is it like blocking yeah. these guys? Man? Uh, you're, you're not yeah. Not like carrying the ball. You gotta yeah. block these guys. Yeah. Cause I yeah I gotta know how to protect too. It's, it's very difficult because you know the guy's big. So like especially ticket cause <laughs> cause ticket he's a big guy but like he's quick with it. So like some plays ticket snap with the ball ticket already back there and pass plays it's like. Dang, take it, come on, like, yeah, <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> online, you can help, you know, I, I'm a shorter guy, so it's very hard, so I got to, like, really step up and pick up, yeah, it's very difficult, but I got to get it done, it's going to help me. You guys got a really talented team, but I want to know, what's the best group position on the team? Mm. The best group on the team, I'm going to just give you a top three, right, so I'm going to just have to give my boys they props. The DBs, they got it. Then I'd say my linebacker group and um, our backfield, like, like, uh, like Ticket said, um, like one of the, one of y'all early questions. We got a lot of talent, like y'all haven't seen, and our backfield is like, that's something like, y'all just ain't really get to see like that. Like we got, we got Lou, we got, um, we got uh, Isaiah, we got Nico, we got 
Mike. Like, we got a whole lot of talent coming out of the backfield that y'all haven't got to see. Man, look at Cortez over there. I said y'all, I said y'all got it. Y'all got it, y'all got it, y'all got it. But, like, like I said, like, our running back room is, like, it's special. Like, it's a whole lot of things y'all haven't seen that y'all probably going to, y'all going to see a lot during this season. But, like, them boys special for real. Well, I'm going to just go top three like Jeremiah. First off, I'm going to have to give it to the DB room. Like, you look at it, you just like, you can't beat that. They got the best of the best. And then, say, you know, I'm going to give the backfield us. We got a special group back there. Then I'm going to have to give it to the D-line. I like the D-line. So, yeah. Um, you know, like they both said, the DB group is just too much talent there. Those great guys, great set of guys, and some more DBs in there that y'all don't know about who will hopefully have a come up this season, you know, get the recognition they deserve. And I'm not going to do no top three, but it's most definitely just DB guys. There's just a lot of talent in there. You guys gave the DB class a lot of praise right here, but I, I want to know because me and my, me and my practice classmate, we always have this debate. Is it the D-line that makes the DBs better, or is it DBs that make the D-line better? Mm, good question. Hold on, hold on. We finna juice, <laughs> we finna juice it up real quick. <laughs> we finna juice it up real quick. Um, so, for us, like, team against team, I feel like the D-line make DBs better. D-line, against us, Against O line, our D line get better air trip. You know, whether it's me or the D N or the other D tackle, we're back to air trip. So quarterback don't really got time. But um, since you know we're practicing, we're not supposed to hit quarterback. We still let the quarterback throw. And DB get a job done. They um, deflect the pass or get a pick or just straps in general. So I feel like it's really just D line make DB better. Um, really, I agree with Ticket. Like what Ticket said. Like if it's not for D line, like. The quarterback is going to have all day. Like, just like 7-on-7. Seven seven. Like, sometimes, you know how you just playing 7-on-7. Seven seven, you got four seconds. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you feel like the play going so long that the offense somehow are able to get a stop. Like, we got guys on our team. We are able, we are able to shut down anybody. But it's how long we can do it. You know what I'm saying? We only, to shut, we only are able to lock them down for so long until, like, you know, they, the quarterback is just going to have to throw the ball to somebody and they're just going to be open. Like, it might be a running back coming out of the backfield. But, like, the D-line, like, our D-line, like, it's, I feel like it's always been, like, our D-line just give the pressure. Like, so our DBs just, we always have to have successful DBs, like, because of the D-line, D-line giving them trouble. So they just going to have to do something with the ball. Yo, Lou, I want to ask you, I want to see if you know. Uh, yeah. Same thing. Oh, uh, yeah, I want to answer this question, too. I say the D-line uh, gives the DBs. Because D line, they the first of the set. So like, in order to even have a, a pass thrown or something, you gotta give pressure. Cause it's not the quarterback gonna have time, so the wide receivers might be able to find a different route to run. So like, yeah, it start with the D line. So in the pressure, cause our DB they special, so they gonna be able to uh, regroup, make a play off the pressure from the D line. You know y'all DB's crew is not gonna like that, right? <laughs> um, last question. Um, obviously, the game just came out, NCAA. Um, have y'all played? And if you uh, have a go to team who you've been playing with? Mm. All right, well, I haven't played yet, but um, I'm one of them guys. Like, we wait for the game for so long. I'm not finna use no powerhouse team. Like, I'm probably using, like, uh, Oh, I really I can't be specific on what team I'll use, but I just know I'm not using a, a top ten team like when I like when I play like I'm not using a top ten team. Yes, NCAA I've been waiting on it. Ever since I got it, I've been constantly on it. It's the only game I've been playing. And it's my go to team is Texas. Like I got so many options with it. Like, that go ball, Isaiah Vine, oh my God. It's unstoppable. Unstoppable. Uh, for me, you know, when I be playing like other guys on my team teammates we usually like just go random teams random 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 dead or if we were to choose one i'd probably say i'd use oregon i, li I like i like using oregon yes sir they receivers they receive real nasty yeah y'all like to use those op teams i, yeah. I see what you <laughs> there's a list of like three or four maybe five teams that everybody's like don't play with them and y'all just doing all the op teams so i like what you said yeah. <laughs> i'm good yeah, I'm, good, I'm good um as kind of like to close this out man um what would you guys kind of tell maybe like other other kids <clears throat> with similar journeys to you guys, um, but just being able to get to that next level, man, and, and, and taking full advantage of your opportunities when you get them? 
All right, well, first off, I'm a, I would tell uh, anybody, the first thing I'd tell you is just keep pushing. Like, you're not going to get your chance off the rip. Like, you're going to have to go through some type of adversity, like, just like how I did. I played receiver my freshman year. I've been playing receiver my whole life. But, like, I just had to make a switch for myself to better myself in the situation because I want to go to school. I want to play ball. I want to go pro. So it's just certain things you're going to have to do, like, that just separates you from everybody else. That also made me more versatile. Uh, I didn't understand that college coaches like versatile players like that really until Travis Hunter, like, mm -hmm. appeared. So, like, when I realized, like, okay, if I could somehow just play offense and defense and I could do my thing in both, that's going to put me on the map. So I really just tell you, like, when your time comes, ball. Like, everything you've been working on, let it show and – True. Just trust the process. Like, don't rush the process. Trust the process. Like, that's the most important thing. Like with football, like you gotta trust the process. Yeah, same. And like, the thing I wanna tell them is, just be patient and wait. Just keep working. Don't always stay working, cause you never know when your time is. Cause when your time comes, you gotta be ready. It's just like, it's not just gonna come. Like, folks just like wanna be like, okay, I wanna go here or go there, and automatically be like popping. You gotta work. You gotta get looks. You gotta be like. It's not gonna just come. You gotta like work for it. And another thing, trust the process. You never know when the time comes, so just be stay down and keep working. Yeah, um, just stay consistent. That's pretty much big, big thing. Um, you know, you you gonna have some days where you don't want to get up, don't want to do nothing, your body hurting, but you just gotta get up and go do the work. It's all gonna pay off in the end. Sometimes you just gotta wait for your time, cause that time's coming for sure. Just um, when it when it does come, be ready. And like J15 said, ball out. Uh, any final words or mantras or anything you guys want to say as we kind of close out for the season kind of begins here pretty shortly? All right, first thing I want to tell everybody is we coming, bro. Like, we not ducking no smoke. Douglas County, y'all already know what time it is. When we see y'all, we ain't going to say too much on that. Um, really, um, John Bear, you, like, you want to go to school, you want to play some ball, you want to play some competition, come over here, like. We, I'm telling you, like, just because we not a private school or we not um, on the north side, we on the south side, like, that don't mean we not playing no competition. Like, you're going to get your chance. So, shoot, come to Jonesboro you if you really want a chance, for real. Uh, my last words is just uh, be expected for us. Like, we're the underdogs coming in and trying to take over everywhere we go. Yes, um, just some south side ballers coming, taking over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same thing like that. Um, just be ready for us. You know, we got some good competition coming up, but we going to really surprise y'all for what's in store. So just be ready. Well, appreciate y'all boys again. To my left, Jeremiah Collier, Lucius Murray, and obviously Jeremiah Ticket. To my right, Arvon Bacon, the Bacon Network, and Jer uh, Jerome of Inside the Hatches. Man, that's going to conclude Jonesboro Media Day. Shout out to Coach Sherb, Coach Domo, and Coach Floyd for having us out here, man, to uh, kind of showcase and preview their upcoming season and their special athletes. But that's all the time we got. Peace. Yes, sir.